this is Mike speaking from IELTSanswers.com. The purpose of this video is to give you some ideas about how you can practice for the IELTS speaking test online. And some of the key reasons why you want to do this are, are listed here. Um, you can build confidence um, by, by practicing your speaking. Um, fluency, really one of the best ways to build fluency is to be speaking so that you're activating that part of your brain. Um, and then the other part is just being familiar with the test and the types of questions that get asked in the IELTS speaking test. I've got two main options for you to do this on my website on IELTSanswers.com. Um, the first one is free speaking with an IELTS partner. So this one doesn't cost you anything but lets you practice speaking. And some of you may not have opportunities to speak. And ideally you speak with another person who's also studying IELTS. That way you've got something in common and, and you're also going to want to practice past questions or current questions in the speaking test rather than just uh, chatting in general. Just, just chatting in general will help. But remember, we also want to build familiarity with the test to become used to the types of questions that get asked in the test. So I, I think it's much better if you have another person um, who's also doing the IELTS test. Of, of course, you could always do both. You could have somebody just for general chatting um, and then another person to practice IELTS speaking questions with. Okay, so if you want to do this option, if you don't have anybody in mind, if you don't know anybody else taking the test, which is often the case, um, then you can click on this link here. That's It's on my website on IELTSanswers.com um, under my speaking section, under Learn IELTS Speaking over the internet, the first link. Um, and you can click on this link and it'll take you to another website. It's not my website. And you can post there um, about wanting to find a speaking partner. And another option, if you scroll down to the bottom of my speaking page, this is the same page here under speaking. Um, there's a comment section and you could type in there. Um, I, I would suggest you could put your Skype name or um, if you're using QQ or something else, put, put what service you're on, what your ID is and perhaps what time suits you, what day and time suit you to meet other people because people are on different time zones. So there's no point making contact with someone who you can't meet up with online. Okay, so you could post that in there and then that will appear in my uh, in the comments under this page. And you, it's going to require a little bit of luck finding the right person, but it's, it's worth a try. And if your test's, um, let's say, more than a few days away, then your chances of finding someone are quite good. If your test tomorrow and you want to find somebody today, then um, this may not be particularly effective way and you might be better off clicking this link up here. Um, you might get a quicker result through that one. Um, okay, so that's one option and that costs you nothing. As I said, you can find a free person um, to speak with, ideally an IELTS speaker, but if not, uh, any kind of speaking will be helpful. It uses that area of your brain that's connected with speech My other option that I have on this website, on the same page under speaking, um, first option, learn IELTS speaking over the internet, is you can have a lesson with an IELTS examiner. Uh, sorry, this is not a free service. A lot of people get disappointed that I have to charge for this, but uh, I've got to make money and it's my time and it's, it's not a huge amount, it's basically 16 US dollars um, for a half hour lesson. Now that might be a lot of money for you and I understand that, um, but you also have to consider the cost of taking a test is often around $300 depending on what country you're in. And if, if you're struggling with the 
speaking test, I think it could be a worthwhile investment. Even if you only had one lesson, you could find out a lot in that uh, half hour time. And if your tests are a while off and if you need to jump, let's say, a whole band, then you'd probably need to have a few lessons with me in order to increase your score by band. I am an IELTS examiner. Um, I think that that's quite important. It, it would be valuable to have just a regular tutor of English. That, that would be helpful. They could point out some of your mistakes and that would be useful. Um, however, they're not going to be able to give you an accurate grade, which is something that I can do. Um, and also, they don't know the ins and outs of the test and perhaps some of the uh, ways of, of getting a high score. Um, let's say, let's take vocabulary. Idiomatic expressions are very powerful and useful for increasing your score and that might be something that a, a regular teacher of English might not know. It's something perhaps specific to the IELTS exam. You, you can see that here. This is the publicly available grading criteria. It's very similar to the um, official criteria that the examiners use to assess you. So if we look here, we've got band seven lexical resource. That's the same as vocabulary, essentially. Okay, uses some less common and idiomatic vocabulary. Okay, so idiomatic vocabulary is very powerful. And what I mean by that is in, instead of searching the internet, we can say surfing the internet. Instead of contacting friends and family, we can keep in touch with friends and family. So idiomatic language is very, very powerful for getting to seven. You can see that I'm an examiner. You can see my name there, Michael Watty. I, I go by Mike Watty, but it's the same. And you can see that I have a six digit examiner number. Um, that's something that every examiner has. So you can see that I'm, I am an IELTS examiner. I'm not making that up or something. Um, and you can also see that it's almost 10 years um, since I've been an examiner. So some of the things we can do if we have a class. Uh, well, the first one is just to do some speaking practice. Um, personally, I don't like to do that too much if you're taking your IELTS test. What I really like to do is focus on giving you a mock speaking test. Um, assessing your band and, and also seeing how far that is from the band that you need and then coming up with strategies to improve your band score. So for instance, if you're going for a seven and I notice that you're not using any idiomatic expressions, then that would be something I'd be recommending to you. Um, if I notice you struggle in part two of the test, then I'd be giving you some homework for part two, such as looking at some model answers and also some blogs that I've written about how to do well in part two of the test. The other thing we can do, you, you may have problems about other parts of the test. So if you did, um, let's say reading or writing, then we can talk about those as well. Um, and if you're doing practice tests as you should be, um, especially the Cambridge books of past test papers, perhaps you're getting some of the questions wrong and you don't know why, then I can also explain answers to the test. Okay, so if you told me um, Cambridge Book of Past Test Papers, Book 7, Test 3, uh, Question 13, then I could look at that and tell you why the answer is as it should be. Um, that can be particularly important with the true, false, not given questions. They can be quite tricky. Okay, so basically often I get asked how to improve my speaking, how do I, uh, how can I be more confident, how can I be more fluent. The main answer for that really is to um, either have a speaking partner and or book some lessons with me. Um, if you've got problems in other areas of the test, uh, like for instance vocabulary, then I would suggest a couple of other things that you could do. One is looking at 
model answers. I do have those on here too. I've got common speaking topics and then you can click on those and then that opens up some model answers. Um, I've got vocabulary for different types of topics. That would be quite useful. I've got strategies for the tests, especially if you're having trouble having enough things to say. Okay, so there's a few ideas of things you can do for improving your score on the speaking test. You can um, you can have a free speaking partner. You can get help from myself. I, I do have a couple of other uh, examiners on here too, Alan and Brian. Um, and if I'm busy, they're help, happy to help you. Or you may prefer to um, try them or, or have more than one tutor can be useful sometimes as well, just for a different experience. And then the other thing that you can do is just look on my speaking uh, section of my website and then finally uh, I do have a speaking book. Uh, again I need to charge for that. Um, it's, it is it's basically $20. 200 pages, there's a lot of useful information in there and if you're really struggling with your test and let's say you need to jump two bands, uh, maybe you're getting six and you need eight, then that might be something that you would be interested in. I hope you found the video useful. You can, um, you're, you're welcome to contact me through email. That's on my website, um, or just leave a comment on the bottom of any of my pages. All my website pages have a place to leave a comment, and if you do leave a comment, I get an email notification, and I can normally reply within a couple of hours if I'm at my PC or certainly within 24 hours. I, I do need to sleep sometimes also. Good luck with preparing for your speaking tests and if you're having difficulties in other areas of the test, you're welcome to contact me or look um, under some of those sections on my website.